you know, let's give little B his flowers. Um, <laughs> at the time, you know, late 2000s, very early, early 2010s, it was like, yeah, I fucked a thousand bitches. He was like, it was like, I fucked a million bitches, but it was, it was like, it was sat tired. It was, it was, what he was doing was just trolling. He was like saying, I'm a bitch. <laughs> Lil B's hilarious, bro. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Lil B. Let's give Lil B his flowers. <laughs> the man was um, a jokester, a trickster. His beats were fire, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And his flow is decent, not gonna lie. The way he just satirized everything, and he was just... <laughs> Lil B was hilarious, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I know why everyone hates me. He was a fucking troll. Yes, that, you know, that's why he couldn't keep, 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 you know, um, staying at the top. But after that, let's be honest, you know, a lot of folks were influenced by him and were like, you know, doing that silly, you know, not silly, but like that kind of sound, somewhat a little bit more melodic, you could say. Right. Folks like kind of took that, kind of you know, like ASAP Rocky, you know, like the psychedelic kind of sound. It's like with that. <laughs> and let's get this man has like what, a thousand songs, for shit, bro. Hard working. I mean, I'll give Pac it. I'll give Tupac that, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Pac. Uh, Lil B is. <laughs> he's a trickster, but he's, he's just playing around, bro. He's humorous, but. Like, you know, you had guys like Redman, Buster Rhymes, ODB, humor. And to me, like, you know, Lil B was, like, the closest we got. <laughs> In this generation, oh, we, we've got from this generation to a silly rapper who's okay with being silly, has a lot of energy, has a pretty decent catalog. <laughs> I mean, it's got a lot of energy. You know, its delivery was it was crisp, it was smooth. Um, his beat selection was flames. Not gonna lie, but Lil B. Lil B can go hard, not the not gonna lie. And you know, I, I think he has like a few introspective songs. I, f I forgot. If we were to look at Lil B's catalog, there's a few introspective songs. And they hit, you know, they hit, um, I don't know if I would say they hit as much as Pox or, or you know, Lil Wayne's or Eminem's or, you know, Kanye's or something, you know. Let's give Lil B his flowers, man. The guy influenced a lot, you know. And Good Beats Selection was uh, could be introspective, was a trickster, <laughs> and you know, is the closest thing we got to a red man, a Buster Rhymes, from the two thousand tens generation. Someone had to say, you know, let's give Lil B his flowers. He really brought like the whole satirizing, you know, he being humorous, being goofy. He brought it back to hip, you know, not like the old little Johns or like Soldier Boys where it's like they're not trying to be goofy, but you just can't take them serious. No, no, no. He was try intentionally trying to be goofy. He was okay with that. And I respect the hell out of Lil B for that. Um... Not everyone's gonna agree with this video. <laughs> it was doing that more baby flow in the baby voice. We weren't ready for it. He was doing something new. <laughs> I respect the fudge out of whoever's doing the newest shit. That's why I prefer ASAP Rocky over, you know, J. Cole, who was trying to bring back some old kind of college dropout sound, which, dude, just make a new sound. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, because it's like, I can't, it's like bringing something new.
Jay, J. Cole wasn't really bringing anything new to me from my perspective. Lil B was doing this more baby mel- voice melodic, controlling kind of type rapping that no one was doing at the time. And I don't think anyone has fully duplicated to the level of hilariousness or energy that he has earned the same, you know, people kind of took aspects like Playboy Cardi, you know, the baby voice, you know, ASAP Rocky, the psychedelic ish beats. Folks have kind of took in elements uh, of Lil B, just kind of run with it, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I think even if you don't like Lil B, you got to give him just a little bit of credit for that, you know, <laughs> you know, the more psychedelic kind of beats you could argue to me is that perfected that to me you know cardi perfected those babies you know the baby voice thing but lil b was the originator of those things and i feel like you know you gotta give the originator credit you don't have to like the originator you just gotta give them credit <laughs> even if someone just took what they did made it better Tyler kind of tried to do like the whole trolling thing in his, in his early career, you could argue. Uh, <laughs> little B is like, I'm a bitch. I fucked it up. <laughs> fucked him. <laughs> oh my god, you guys want to do that? I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> Man, little B is hilarious to me, but that's just me. What's your take? Share, like this video, subscribe if you want to. I, I really don't care. Um, Peace out.